Welcome back. Today we're going to be using the calculator as promised to create numeric summaries for our one quantitative variable. So we were looking at Twitter posts and I showed you how to calculate the mean and standard deviation by hand. And now we're going to use the calculator to do that work for us. So the first thing you need to do is push the stat button. And when the stat button comes up, you have edit, calc, and tests. When you want to enter data, you're going to enter it into the edit option. So you want edit and edit selected and we'll push enter. And then inside of our lists, you can see I have data in list one. So to remove that data, I'm going to use the up arrow and you'll notice it highlights L1. And then I'm going to push clear and you can see that it's deleted in the row. And once I push enter, it deletes that whole column. Don't push delete, it would delete the whole column. So here, if I went delete, you can see that that is removed. If that does happen to you, go back to the stat button and go down to number five in the edit options and push setup editor. Now, when we go back to the edit, you can see that my list one has returned. So with this, we're gonna enter the data that we have from the notes. That was the number of Twitter posts and we calculated a mean by hand for that. So we had five, seven, one, four, 10, 12, and then eight. It's always a good idea to go and check your data entry to make sure you don't have any errors. Now that we have them all entered, I'm gonna push stat again, but this time I'm gonna use my right arrow to go to one variable stats. Once that's highlighted, I'll push enter. It is in list one, so I can leave that as is. If you need to change the list options, notice that the top of your number pad in blue gives you the list option, so you would just push second and then whichever list it was. So here it was list one, I didn't have to change that, but I did. And we don't have a frequency list, and so we'll do calculate. And it goes out and it's calculating our mean. So you can see X bar, remember, is the notation for sample mean. It calculates standard deviation for us. That's the S sub X. And it gives you the sample size, which is N. Sigma sub X is the formula for population standard deviation. And if you remember from the notes, I said that that formula is actually different. So when you're looking at this, you'll be focusing on samples, so S sub X. And then you can see with this down arrow that there's more information shown below. And when you scroll all the way down uh, with your down arrow until that arrow disappears, you can see the five number summary. So that's how you find it with your calculator. You are welcome to use that for homeworks and quizzes. Please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day.